Today, we discover California's most well-known and most visited wine region, the famous Napa Valley. Napa Valley contains over a quarter of California's wineries. Most wineries are small, family-owned properties. The region is world-renowned for its structured Cabernet Sauvignons and full-flavored Chardonnay. More than 36 different wine grape varieties grow in Napa County. In fact, the name Napa means land of plenty. Carl, what did you just serve us? So, we cannot think of California without mentioning Napa Valley, which is the famous uh, area. Cabernet Sauvignon, which actually is the main grape of the area, is what has made Napa Valley what it is today. So I decided to pour first uh, the Cabernet Sauvignon from Joel Gott. This is high quality cab. It fits with the vegetarian burgers. Speaking of Gott, um, there's a famous yes. roadside. And what's crazy about this place is that I've heard that not only tourists go there, but actually vintners, like most renowned vintners, just go there to eat lunch. I've got another cab from Robert Mondavi. This one's gonna be more fleshy, very lush fruit, focused on red fruit. The meat helps to just relax the tannic structure of the wine, which is not the case with something vegetarian. Finally, I have here in my eyesight a really nice sparkling wine. And I have to say, Carl, I love a good Mam Napa. I think it's so festive. But I'm just wondering what it's doing here to pair it with burgers. Is that really possible? Of course it is. Well, first of all, Napa Valley always comes down to diversity. And sparkling wine, for instance, pairs really well with what we decided to, uh, well, to suggest is actually the salmon burger and, and a very nice crust of sesame. Not too much intense because you don't want to lose the wine with that. So when you think burger, you can just definitely think California wines. It's such a great pairing all together. So be careful while opening it and drinking responsibly. Is that right? Always. Always. Oh my goodness, that was nice!